What's going on, YouTubers? We got a trailer in the shop today. It's actually cooled down a lot. Things like uh, mid to 80s, I would say, low 80s, mid 80s. And uh, I had a nail in a tire on the other side, so I fixed it. And uh, last week, I actually made a video, but for some reason does, does not download in a, on a YouTube. It takes forever. Uh, I polished the uh, wheels and tanks on a, on a truck. And uh, I have three axles on the on the tr on the trailer. There's one more behind me, and uh, the trailer's 2015. It's kind of starts seeing its age. It comes out to be four years old, almost five years old, and uh, the rims never was polished or anything like that. As far as I know, because I own this trailer for two years now. So, fixed the nail, I fixed the tire, pulled the nail out, actually patched it. It's 19.5 tires, nightmare to take them off. Uh, took it off, fixed it, and then I said, you know what? Something make a difference. It's the middle of summer. I figure I'm gonna give little love to my rims on a trailer. And uh, I know it's Sunday, but uh, planning to go to work tomorrow. Plus, it's not very hot, it's humid but it's not hot. So I got a couple rims done. It's one of them right here. Uh, I wouldn't say they are perfect, but uh, the best is I could do. I got a uh, buffer wheel. I don't think it's very high RPM and it's very low on power, but it does the job. And uh, I polished this mud flaps things right here. You guys can see the shadow, just the face of it or facing outside the trailer. That's what the rim looks like before, and that's what it looks like now. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but um, the reason I want to do this video, I know a lot of guys, some of my friends, they like, oh yeah, I want to get my rims polished. I never done this before, like literally, uh, this is actually the first time I'm using the uh, power tools to polish the rims. I wouldn't say I'm great at it, but we do my, I do my best. So, I do it in stages. The face of the rim, right here, that's what it mainly gets uh, sand blasted by sand because the, the gravel and sand when you're going down the road, especially in the rain, that's what it gets pitted, like this, this right here. So I got 800 sandpaper and a sander. And I will do a little spot right here right now and show you what it, how it works. First of all, you gotta take, uh, if you have any stickers on the rim, you better take them off and then kind of grind on them. So I will do just a little spot to show you how guys I do. <laughs> I'm using a yellow pad and a green rock. I think they call it rock or stone. I got some white ones and I got a white pad, but I think the white pad more than anything and the white stone, it's more for the stainless steel. I don't know why it just not works for me on aluminum. And uh, this is actually a very aggressive cutting pad. And I'm not going to like a mirror shine. I just want to sort of to be somewhat shiny and then uh, the usual the white one you could finish it after this one but like I said it don't work for me so uh, let me hit the rim a little So that's what it basically looks before and after. This black stuff, what I do, I actually finish it with just a little bit of this. And I had a green rag right here. There we go.
basically this is the result before well, right here before you guys see this uh sandblasting pits or whatever you want to call it and if you sand it they kind of go away like i said you still have some of it but it's a lot smoother and uh when you run in the buffer kind of got to go back and forth while the edge right here end up being black that's why i use the uh hand polishing too but it works i mean it works decent so i got two rims done and i gotta do this one there's a little secret to it you wanna well like this two axles actually it's liftable axle liftable axle down when it's not i'm gonna put a jack right now underneath it but uh, it's much easier when you lift the axle up and uh, you kind of can spin it and work yourself constantly at the bottom you did the section keep going keep going keep going so but that's basically a sunday polishing uh trailer a little bit then i want to do a couple more spots right here i don't know if we're gonna get time i would love to polish the whole trailer but it's way too much work so i just want to polish this corner right here and this piece right here drill this out and just polish polish this corners out just to have a couple chrome pieces but i seen some i'm sure if you guys travel uh some guys somehow managed to polish the whole entire trailer i seen a cow pod one got polished the whole thing up in uh san joe utah i drove by in the truck stop and it was actually cow pod and a couple guys were working on it it took him like three or four days to polish the whole thing mainly it was machine polish and the rest of it was uh, um, the tight corners were got hand polished all right i'm gonna keep working so good luck